How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So you all know that macOS Ventura has just rolled out with some great features. Now many of you already got this update on your Mac. Although upgrading the macOS Ventura is not complicated unless you meet with a certain requirement. Now, before you go ahead and upgrade your Mac OS, you have to just follow some of the important things. First, make sure that you have stable or speed internet connection on your Mac. Now, also try to have more than 50% of charge. Make sure that you have enough free storage available on your Mac. Now, right after that, the next thing that you gotta do here is simply go ahead and click on the Apple logo on your computer. Click on about this Mac here. Now, just go ahead and click on software update here. And now, if you automatically get the macOS Venture, that means your device is compatible. However, though, if you're using, let's say, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, iMac, Mac Studio, or any other Mac, here is a list of the device that is compatible with the macOS Venture. So now your device is compatible here, and you also get this macOS Venture. Then before you upgrade or click on upgrade now, you're gonna click on more info here. This is one of the important parts. A lot of people don't follow these because of that they get different types a problem like the package is missing or they get download failed or sometimes they get the installation failed problem on their mac all right guys so when you come over here first you gotta click on install now just click on there now click agree to the terms and conditions here now it's just downloading new update now well downloading the new update on your mac can take a little while so stay tuned unless your download is done all right guys so after installing the last mac OS to with your mac now let's go ahead and come to the same spot to install the mac was Ventura. Now, once you come over here, just go ahead and click on update it and your update will get started. Now, keep in mind while upgrading your Mac OS Ventura right onto your Mac, your Mac can get a restart for several time. Well, after a while, you will see your Mac will come up with the brand new Mac OS Ventura update and you will be able to see the difference between the previous Mac and the Mac OS Ventura that you might have or installed right now on your Mac. So, this is how you guys can literally upgrade the Mac OS Ventura to your Mac and this is how you can do it. I hope you found this video useful. If you think so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.